Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today I'm going to be talking about how to dress when you're meeting with a politician. All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our videos. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it right down there below. And last but not least, I'm going to link you to my free 47-page ebook on men's style. You can grab that by just clicking on the link there and entering your email. It will come right to you. Okay, so this is the question that came in. Antonio, quick question. Next week, I'll be speaking at my state capitol in Mississippi about a possible bill. And I was wondering, what colors are appropriate for meeting with a, polit with a politician? It might not matter, but any advice is much appreciated. Thank you. All right, well, I wanted to take this a little bit step farther and actually talk about the styles of clothing that you should wear. And I know there are some of you guys out there who think, okay, if I'm going to go meet with a politician, I'm going to wear a rain suit because he's going to be flinging mud and stuff's going to be flying, you know, all that, all the, you know, jokes aside, definitely when you're going to your state capital or you're going to the national capital or you may go into your country's capital, depending on where you're at in the world, you want to dress appropriately because at the end of the day, you want to think, what is your goal? What is your purpose? If your goal is to influence, then you want to come across as credible and nothing screams credibility as much as a suit or at least a blazer or a sports jacket. You want to have some type of jacket on which signals to these guys that you are one of them. They, you know, and, and I, again, I, I know I'm going to get some flack for this, but it, you want to, in a sense, mimic the way they dress. So when in Rome, do as the Romans. And if I know you probably don't normally wear a suit, but look at anyone that testifies on Congress or anyone that goes to the Capitol, they dress a bit better because you're in their world and you want to want to come across, you want to be able to get your message across. That's the whole reason you're going there. Now, there are cases in which you would perhaps, if you want to really shake things up or if you want to draw attention and use a visual in which you could, you know, dress a bit differently. So if, let's say you're here in Wisconsin, you know, we have a very strong, uh, you know, Dairy Farmers Association. If you're running into a really big issue and if you don't feel anyone's listening to you, I know we've had issues where farmers will show up in their overalls and, well, they'll, you know, they, gosh, what was it? Was it here in Wisconsin that some farmer basically flew over and dropped a whole bunch of manure on the Capitol or, you know, that's a way of getting their attention. And I don't think he was dressed in the suit, you know, but, you know, if you want to get someone's attention, occasionally you can do that with a visual. But in your case, as a student, as a young man, you want to come across as credible. You want to come across as trustworthy. You want to come across as someone that they can be okay listening to and get your message very quickly. And it's not just the politician who you're trying to get to listen to you. There's going to be men and women surrounding him or her. And those are the people that you really want to influence because they're the ones that are going to be more open to your message. It's probably going to stick with them. And since they have the politician's ear, a lot more you know, often than, than you do and they've got a greater sense of trust, they may be able to influence. So the meetings that you're going to be having, not just speaking to the politician, but the ones that come before and come after and the follow-ups, in those cases, you always want to be presenting yourself in the best possible light. So the colors, getting to your specific question, I would go, because of your age, charcoal gray or medium gray. Those are going to be the best colors for a young man because they're going to help you look a little bit older. But let's say you're, you know, in your mid-20s and you've already got a navy suit. That's going to be perfectly fine as long as that suit isn't too blue and doesn't make you look like a teenager because that's something you don't want. You want don't want to go in there and look so young that they think, okay, this is somebody that can't even vote, so I'm not even going to listen to them. Other things you can do, at the end of the day, though, you want your suit to be very simple and conservative. You're not looking to ruffle any feathers or make a, you know, you're not representing the Wisconsin Fashion Guild, which I don't even know if there is one. But if there was one, uh, actually you're down in Mississippi, so maybe Mississippi has a Fashion Guild. But in any case, you're not representing them. So you're not going to be going in and trying to strike a chord with, hey, look at my fashion sense. Simple, conservative, classic. But if you want to have a little bit of fun with your style, feel free to, if you're wearing a navy suit, to bring in a very dark pair of brown shoes. That works fine. Maybe wear a very simple pocket square. I wouldn't go for anything outlandish. You could go with a simple uh, square fold with a white uh, pocket square, and that would look nice, look classic. Um, you know, everyone's got a little, little lapel or a little pin here. A lot of them, you know, what's that thing? If you don't wear an American flag here, you're obviously not American. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a joke. Uh, but uh, no, perhaps, and I like little things like that simply because when you find that you're behind closed doors or you're gonna be meeting with people outside of when you're speaking, you're gonna, you're gonna need little conversation starters. And something like that is always a great little conversation starter. Last but not least, and this is not really related to style, but make sure you've got plenty of business cards and that you collect as many cards or people's contacts. And again, you wanna be going and meeting the people around whoever it is you're trying to influence because those people are gonna have a greater influence, are gonna be more open to your message, are gonna probably have more time, and at the end of the day are gonna be the people that are probably gonna make things happen with what you're trying to do. Best of luck to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.